So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first you wanna expand HK local machine and then you wanna expand system and then you wanna expand current control set and then you wanna expand control and then you wanna expand class. You wanna make this a little bit bigger. And now you're gonna find this one right here called 36F-C9-E60. It's not that far down if you expand class. It's right here, 36F-C9-E60-C465-11CF. You wanna click on this. And now once you're in here, you're gonna have something that's called upper filters and lower filters. You may only have one, such as you may only have upper filters, or you may only have lower filters, but you wanna make sure that anything that says filters on it, you want to delete it. So for upper filters, I'm just gonna delete this. You wanna right click, click on delete. Click on yes. And now for lower filters, you wanna right click on it, click on delete, and then click on yes. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on your computer name, and then you wanna click on action, and then click on scan file changes. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you're on this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now, and I click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Now as the scan's running, you want to head over to search again and type in CMD again. Then you want to run it as administrator as well. And then click on yes. And now once you're on this, you want to type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and click on enter. And then you want to run both these scans. And now as these scans are running, for the next step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure the computer is fully up to date. And now you're gonna wait for both these scans to be completed. And now once both these CMD scans have been completed, you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.